On June 1st, we'll be celebrating TLC, and we've invited four of your favorite artists, Allie Brooke, Low Cash, Max, and Sarati, to cover the TLC classics, each putting their own spin on a track. Watch Iconic TLC, Monday, June 1st at 8, only on The CW. Feel better faster. Host urgentcare.com. Three things you need to know right now. 621, it is Valentine in the morning. This is 104.3 by FM. Last night, protesters set fire to a police station in Minneapolis during a week of unrest following the passing of George Floyd, who lost his life in police custody on Monday. The people inside the police station were able to evacuate before the fire spread. Over 500 Minnesota National Guard personnel are now mobilized at several locations in the Minneapolis area, including banks, grocery stores, and pharmacies. Meanwhile, protests over the incident continued in Southern California yesterday as well, in places like downtown LA, Santa Monica, and Fontana. For the first time in 124 years, the Boston Marathon's been canceled. The mayor of Boston, Marty Walsh, said this kind of event would not be responsible or realistic at any time this year. Oh, that was not a good Boston accent. I was trying, but that was not that good. <laughs> anyway, the race is going to be replaced by a virtual event. How's that work? He's going to run at your house in place or something? Runners will be able to earn their finisher's medal, I guess, by verifying they ran 26.2 miles on their own within a six-hour time period. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Now, I wonder if it will be the same medal as if they passed out at the, the marathon finish line. Because the Boston Marathon is known for a couple of different points in the marathon that are really, really hard. One of them, I think, is called, like, a Heartbreak Hill, I think. And so if you're just running and you just, you know, run on flat surfaces the entire time, you're going to get a really good time for 26.2 miles versus if you ran the Boston Marathon. It's, it's a very hard sure. marathon, I've been told from people, so I don't know. But hey, if you're running 26.2, just give them the medal, who cares? Many restaurants and bars that have been closed during the pandemic say a lot of their beer is going stale and losing its flavor. Rye, this might be your time to jump in and drink that beer for them. Be a superhero. <laughs> now, Anheuser-Busch says they'll replace expired beer at establishments across the country free of charge. The company says they're doing this to support the people behind bars and restaurants when they need it the most. Though Anheuser-Busch has struggled recently and sales have declined, They've still spent millions to help struggling local bars and restaurants. That's really nice. So you're going to replace all that stale beer with fresh stuff. Coming up next, the shows people are watching the most during quarantine. See if you're on board with this. Jill's going to read some to you. She's got a list for us coming up next. And see where you fall with these popular shows during quarantine. And maybe you're missing out on something that everybody else is into as well. I still don't know what happened on Tiger King. I, I'm past it. Whatever. I missed it. You know? <laughs> I'll recap we'll do that it for next. you. Oh, thanks, Jill. It's 104.3 My FM. It's Valentine in the morning. Here's Halsey. This is Without Me. Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day stopping by about 8.25 today.
Ed Sheeran and you're listening to Valentine in the Morning on 104.3 My FM. Valentine in the morning. Jill's got a, a list of shows that are very popular here during the pandemic during quarantine. But she's losing her everything. Fill in the blank with whatever you want right now.